So I've got two snipers with... Yeah, this seems like a good setup. Let's adjust you, though. Still using the shard gun. Let's use the plasma rifle for the time being. Until we get something better. Also, loadout. Predator armor. Exosuit. Okay, so we got that set up. You. Don't need a med kit. However, we'll put you in this. That'll be good. Okay, because she's the weakest. You. Absolutely 100% incendiary rounds. Actually, come to think of it, instead of incendiary rounds, let's just give you the battle scanner. Because, where's Deadshot? Deadshot. You'll get the dragon rounds, which I'd like to get my hands on. Uh, but we'll leave that for later. Okay, we got the Koof. The Koof gets the acid grenade. And the Koof also gets... Let's just give him the nanoscale vest. Alright. You get the med kit. And you also get scale vest. Uh, stasis vest. There we go. So we've got a bunch of grenadiers. Acid grenade. Looks like we're good. Okay, it's a terror mission. I hate terror missions. Which is why I brought the full crew of colonels and, you know, strong people, as opposed to otherwise, which would suck and be annoying and make me unhappy. Oh, you guys can't see my cursor, can you? Yeah, whatever. You probably don't need to see it. direct chat into talking about things related to the game. I don't know, man. My brain's fried. This is like a tactical game that I just... ...so-called peacekeepers are hitting one of the resistance camps in this area, and they're taking out civilians and fighters alike. We're deploying to protect as many people as we can, secure the site, and take out any hostile forces still threatening the area. I just can't brain right now, guys. I am sorry. I'm enjoying this game a lot, though. I don't know. I wish there were more good tactical RPGs. Like, I'm thinking about it now, and it's like, there's Shadowrun. There's Fire Emblem. There's XCOM. Um, and I guess there's Divinity Original Sins, but I think that kind of goes in a different vein entirely. Um... I really miss the Final Fantasy Dennis Tactics 1 -5. series. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Like, I'm actually really disappointed that there haven't been any more, like, Final Fantasy Tactics games. That shit was golden. Alright. So we're gonna move Derpy Macross okay, straight up. Chances are we're not going to have any surprise friendship on the roof. We are not going to spot somebody? Really? Wow. News to me. So I'm going to get my snipers up on the roof. We're just going to try and shell people from a distance. As far as I can. Uh, go. Okay. So we've got fairly tough folks. I'm kind of concerned about where I'm going to run into people. I love Final Fantasy Tactics 1 and 2. Yeah! Let's go! Move out! Let's see. Eternal Poison was an interesting tactical RPG. Hmm, never heard of it. Vulture Claw. Is that a tactical RPG? I've never heard of it. Not even close. So the problem is we've... Okay, yeah, we're probably not going to run into any enemies from this direction. I'm taking a bit of a risk it, standing next to all these civilians. Get out of here. But we're okay. Alright. That car's not gonna blow up on me. Remember Jimothy. Oh, don't I. Jimothy's the reason why I hate these missions. Getting it done. Alright, so if I can rescue people really early. Overwatch. That would be really handy. Unfortunately... Fuck me sideways. These chrysalids seem a little smaller than I remember. Then again, it was never really their size we had to worry about. 
Oh, Battle Scanner can detect those disguised aliens. Good, good point. Okay, they missed. Well, that gives me some time here. Advent forces on the ground. Oh, son of a bitch. This constitutes terrible goddamn timing. All right, so fuck things. So we got a mech. That is the least of my worries, honestly. Uh, let's move you forward. Okay. This sucks. Major ass bitches. Actually, hold on. We might have a better grenade for this one. That's solo. It's not. The Koof. Alright. The Koof. Koof could do acid there. Get ready for a surprise. So let's... Let's acid them. They'll shred some armor and make some noise. Okay, so next up... I don't exactly know where they are. I don't exactly need to. Throwing grenade. They're up above. That's all I know. Fuck you. Alright. So that did some damage. Did it kill both of them? In fact, I can only see one. So I don't really have... I don't really have the required know-how for that one. Alright. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna move you to the window. On my way. To the wall. So now we get a good look at what we're up against. Not happy about this, honestly. Alright. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Let's see if we can solve that problem in a little bit more explosive force. I don't even give a shit. Don't even give a goddamn. Alright, so I, I need a name can shoot the mech. Mech... Mech's done. Okay. Next up, we got a chrysalid. Luckily... We should be able to kill it. Okay, so I'm gonna give him a boost, though I don't think it's actually gonna help. Uh, it might help him, actually. Yeah, that gives him threat assessment. Okay. We only needed to do one damage. Might as well use the pew pew lasers. Yeah! Alright. So we've killed... Uh... Okay, so we've got another chrysalid. I think I heard a flesh critter. Okay. So we're gonna start with some Olympic chucking. Well, I am glad I did that. All right. Gonna quick save, then we're gonna fire a rocket into can't do that wild blue yonder of the Okay. Moving out. Yeah, could be worse, could be a uh, a whaling ship full of the nasty suckers. You're not wrong. Okay. So we've got one. And a mist. Damn it. Let's see if I can snipe it from here. Come get some. On Okay. So let's move up a bit. Cross our fingers. This guy's not a goddamn flesh beast. Okay, perfect. Come get some. So we've also got solo. Now the nice thing about chrysalids. Let's move already. Is they have to be within melee range to get at you. 
which does give me a whole host of options here. Okay. Uh, so what's my what's my shot chance? I could rupture it. I could just try shooting it. Let's just rupture it. That's a pretty good shot chance. Are you fucking kidding me? I've had like a fantastic fucking chrysalid. I've had a fantastic sh chance to shoot this thing constantly. But no. There it goes. Thanks. Alright, so we've got another chrysalid around. We've got two people, probably flesh beasts. Somewhere. I gotta save three people and... Uh, Alright, whatever. We'll make it work. I'm ready. Alright, so you... You're gonna pop down. Finally. If it's a flesh beast, we know we we on, know what to on. do. Nope, that's a person. All right, but yeah, it's a good time that I uh, good time for me Let's to start move moving forward just a little bit. I'll leave the one guy as kind of like backup sniping across the board, but still, okay, the coof. Coof can't do much. Okay, so in that case, let's bring Anita name up. Moving to position. She's got moves and we know where our enemies are. Flesh Beast! They still exist. I was wondering. Oh, worth a shot. Alright, uh, let's just move forward. moving out. Okay, so we've got these people over here, probably also flesh beasts. Which sucks. Because the problem is, I gotta rescue two more people. I guess only two have died so far. And we've got a whole host of areas to work with here. I guess. Closing on target as far as things now. go. Do we have an enemy? I started playing the music as though we'd spotted something. The answer looks to be very solid no. Uh, I could come for these people. I don't really like those odds, though. I, I've got some time. I've got more rescue than they they do, so I'm not going to get too risky here. Let's just overwatch a bunch. Koof. Koof moves up to fence. Stream died again. Ugh. Alright. So I see a chrysalid running around in there. We'll throw a battle scanner. I don't know what that noise was. So do we want to try throwing it to like a higher level? Nah. Mm. The other thing we could do is... Let's check these people. If it turns out... Okay, so there's our flesh beast. Well, in a way that makes life easier. Actually, that makes a lot of life really easy. Okay, uh, so in that case... We don't have to worry about these people here. Heading out. I'm hoping that's close enough. God damn it. Alright, fine. Shoot the faceless. Okay. So we got a horror beast. Luckily, I specialize in horror beasts. Now, I don't want to shoot at that person. There we go. There's the faceless. So we still got a chrysalid running around, but that's actually not very concerning. Because chances are I'm going to spot it on uh, their turn. Not mine. So let's just go get this person. God, I hope I don't spot it on my turn. Okay, so that, that is the minimum required number of people. 
Gotcha. That is confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. So we move over here. Uh, I'll bring him here. Yeah, we still have the chrysalid around somewhere. I think that's the only one. We might still have more. Overwatch. Scanning. There it is. Ah, shit, there's somebody below? And possibly another flesh monster. Honestly, don't really like this building here. Kind of sucks. Because... How the devil am I supposed to, like... Absolutely. See into it and shoot these guys? Scanning. I don't know. And it's not appreciated. Luckily, most of my enemies are going to have to leave the building to get at the remaining civilians. Okay. Uh, let's just move here. Position confirmed. Oh, we've spotted somebody. We've got Advent here. Okay. Still not the chrysalid, though. So, less worries. Okay. So you got these two. Eight. Boom. Probably not gonna kill them. But will certainly mess up their, uh... Their positioning. Wait, did that just murder both of them? Uh, I murdered one of them. Alright, so we got one dude dicking around on the ground. Uh... See what else we got? We got a sniper somewhere. Got a hundred percent shot on the advanced officer. Anybody else? Nope. Well, let's kill him. Uh, that is an impressive accuracy considering we're shooting through a building. Well, you know what? When in Rome. Let's reload. Is that a free reload? Ready to engage? No. Okay, so we've got Solo. Solo's got one more kaboom. If I can drop this guy on his ass, that'll make my life easier, too. I'm kind of a douche. Okay, he's just dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we've still got a chrysalid running around in there somewhere. I get the feeling... Here's where we see him. Missed. But... We know where he is now. Or at least we know he's coming. Come on, you goddamn skitterbug. What was that? I don't know. 92% chance to hit, and he's got Shredder. Take off that armor. Or miss complete. Oh, wait, no, that's executed. Well! We're not done yet? That's not everybody? Goddamn. Come get some. Well, that's horrifying. So that either means we've got another, we got another boogeyman, or yeah, we've definitely got another flesh, goddamn boogeyman. All right. Moving on target location. Get back to the ship. Acknowledge. I can. Multiple civilian contacts have been secured. I can only assume that there's just another Flesh Beast man hanging out nearby. Moving to Overwatch. Alternatively, that. About to get burned to a crisp. Alright, Koof seeing as you're whining. So we've got a chrysalid outside the map, like wildly outside the map, just doing something. All right. Let's do this. I can probably work it. We don't have any more battle scanners, which is kind of annoying. So let's Double move her time. a little bit closer. The thing is, it's got to approach me in melee for me to kill it. Affirmative. Cover or it for me to come get some. worry about it. So I'm just going to overwatch until it Got decides to come motion. play. What the fuck is it doing? 
It can't be making more, can it? Alright, so we've got two civilians left. I see one of them. Alright, I'm gonna have the Koof run forward. Go on, get going! Get him out of there. I honestly can't tell you where the last civilian is. Oh, wait, there they are. Up on the roof. Actually, this is Derpy Macross, right? We can just bring Derpy Macross up here. Uh, let's see, there's no way under the roof from here. All right, so I'm just gonna pull everybody together, kind of on this on this building, because the chrysalids can burrow. What they can't do is burrow through buildings. So, like this, this way they'll have to assault a unified group. And the thing is, uh, chrysalids. I don't think I don't think they can just breed on the field. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna keep him out here. Yeah, he's like burrowing around underground. There we go. Not like we actually get a good shot at him. Or, alternatively, he's... Uh, did we just, like, shoot the guy in the middle of the ground? He's on fire. Alright. You know what? I give up. I don't... I don't... I don't need to... Questioning is for chumps. Not a problem. Moving to Overwatch. Uh... Huh. Well, that was exciting. Here I come. I'm on it. Um, gonna I'm be totally way. honest. Did not exactly expect that. Overwatch. We've only got like one or two shots left on some of these people, but that's okay. We don't need cover because it's out. um. Affirmative. Covering now. Okay. This is goofy. Yeah, so it's somewhere around here. Oh, or it just burns to death. Well then. Menace one five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Rating flawless. Yeah, that was a really good run. I really liked that one actually. I usually these suck. Most under fire. Did wait? We never even got shot at. Did I just completely control all of my enemies? I did. Wow, that's nuts. Yeah, uh, so nobody even got shot at this entire fight. We rescued it. That was completely flawless. Yeah. That was fun. A lot of fun. Okay. Good work out there, Commander. We're one step closer to taking back our planet. Hail of bullets. Eh. It's kind of useful. Okay, so revival protocol. No, we'll just do haywire protocol. I think it gives me a hacking bonus, dude. Nope, doesn't. Still, could be useful. Okay, salvo. Ooh, salvo on him, so that lets him shoot twice. Ooh, and is one of these. All right, let's do run and gun. Probably would be better on in other situations too, but still. Okay. Doesn't look like we got anything particularly cool from that, but I'm okay. Chrysalid Autopsy. They may have features resembling a variety of terrestrial insect species, but these creatures are deadlier than anything bred, in our, uh, bred of our world. There are armored exoskeletons of particular interest and may provide insights towards the creation of an armor suit capable of actively damaging enemy forces as they engage in combat. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. Oh, and for doing that, uh, my income goes up by 15. Yay! That's good. I really like this game. It's much better designed than uh, the previous ones. Uh, which, it just feels really good. Okay, so they're working on that. I need more engineers. Let's go to the Psy Lab. Oh, I see. I can't train her. Oh, because she's injured. Ch check the armory for that. Uh, Misaki Dark. Walker. Yep, lightly wounded for four days. Alright, we'll leave that alone for the time being. Let's just 
Uh, let's just go for a couple of days. Uh, let's see, what was I doing? Right. I was setting up this control tower. I don't have enough money. We were building this one. There we go. I've got some supplies up here, but I'll get them after I build this tower. Because I'd really like to go over this direction. And make contact. I've made a number of interesting Whoa. discoveries, Commander. So now we got powered armor. Uh, let's see. So, new item available, warden armor, new proving ground, wraith suit, and war suit. Okay, from what we've seen of the aliens' activities and their lack of regard for human life, preserving those of us that are still around has to become a task of equal importance to eliminating the alien threat itself. The success of this entire undertaking hinges on our ability to keep our soldiers healthy and ready for battle at a moment's notice. In working towards that aim, our latest armor prototype utilizes more of the alien alloys than we've previously assembled. And, as expected, the durability and potential for damage mitigation is extremely impressive. Initial trials show the armor to be capable of withstanding a direct hit from focused plasma at 5 meters, enough to increase survivability by a substantial margin. I plan on advising the senior staff not to inform the troops of any perceived toughness associated with the suit. I'd hate for our for forces to grow reliant on it, despite our best intentions. So now we can make the warden armor, uh, which is probably really expensive. The war suit, and the wraith suit, which is sneaky stuff, probably. Okay, gotcha. Uh, do we want to do storm gun, beam cannon, crystal autopsy, archon? Let's go beam cannon, just because I got a lot of heavy uh, grenadiers. Valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Commander? Okay, so how much is this going to cost? Warden armor, 300 supplies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a while before we get that one. Actually, it's gonna be next month, probably. Uh, so let's get out of here. Millions of innocent lives unknowingly walking right into the alien. Actually, shut up. Uh, one other thing we should check. We should check the proving ground. Can we make... We could make an exosuit. War suit, though, requires 50 supplies. Okay, so that's a little bit on the cheaper side. That's cool. I think I'm going to save up for the uh, the overall upgrade, though. That'll be a little bit better. Oh, being poor sucks. Loud and clear. Okay, so now we've got the tower up. Uh, contact 6 out of 10. So I could try and make contact with New Brazil. Costs 30 intel. Three to five days. Yes. Course for sector three, Brazil. Making contact with these is going to help both our income and some other things. Okay. Attempting to establish local regional contact. This is probably just Avatar. Yep, Avatar progress. Yeah, yeah. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. It's a shame that, effectively, the touchdown spot is just another one of the, like, just a random battlefield that you can visit. Instead of, like, actually trying to make it look interesting, unique. Or, unique. There we go. I think I just said unique there. Eh, it doesn't matter. Okay. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Okay, so now we get the beam cannon. Cannon. Tygen has been less than eager to push the limits of the plasma weapons we've come up with so far. And while I agree that we don't have, well, we have to be careful working with in the confines of the ship. I don't think we can let that hamper our progress. The aliens are going to send whatever they can after us, and we should be prepared. With that in mind, I've come up with a few improvements to the core plasma rifle design that should allow us to step up the power without substantial increases to weight. With added intensity, it might be possible to divide the targeting field into a multi-shot projectile stream. I'm guessing the heavier variant will be best suited to the Grenadiers. They don't seem to seem all that concerned about carrying around unstable ordnance. Okay, so now we get the beam cannon. And... I could do storm gun. Let's start doing autopsies. Presumably, the name Chrysalis derives from assumptions made previously about the creature's unusual means of reproduction. Although rumors have long prevailed about the existence of zombies, Created as a byproduct of the chrysalid gestation, recent reports seem to indicate a new, equally disturbing means of propagating their species.
Okay. Uh, so we got that. Let's go back out here. If I can get a bunch of these... Okay, so we've made contact with Brazil. We can go to New Mexico. We can also go to New Chile, which we want to do. Uh, because if I can take out that, that, uh... Spot, it'll be a good idea. Make contact. Course for the Chilean and we've control district. got enough intel for this. Good, 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 good. And then we'll start going for the other one, too. Because despite the fact that I've pretty much hacked up the Avatar project, so it's not contact. a concern, it's still a good idea for me to, uh... These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. It's still a good idea for me to go against it, just because I don't want to break the game too hard. Intellectual curiosity is not enough to overcome my doubts as to whether or not it was really a wise decision for our troops to bring this particular specimen on board the ship. Okay, an inherently terrifying and unpleasant species to encounter by surprise. I can only admire our troops for their courage in dealing with this species known as the chrysalid. Mirroring the general form of a common anthropod, immediately noticeable as the sleek armored exoskeleton protecting its segmented body. Of particular concern for our troops are the honed points of the chrysalid's fangs and legs, capable of inflicting critical injuries on their own. They also allow for the creature's gruesome means of rapid reproduction in the field. Although Central Officer Bradford insists that he witnessed a different, equally invasive means of chrysalid gestation during the earliest days of the war, there's no evidence that such attacks still occur today. Unfortunately, from what he's described, I would say the aliens have actually evolved the process into a more efficient, deadly solution. The chrysalids we see today inject a venom that immediately begins softening the structure of the victim's internal organs, preparing the subject to serve as both the material for, gestation co for a gestation cocoon and as a ready supply of nutrients for the chrysalid young. Should the victim fail to receive medical support and expire, the cocoon will form shortly thereafter. Assuming the cocoon is not destroyed during the initial gestation period, we can expect up to three chrysalid young to emerge after an impressively short period of growth. Recent reports from the field indicate some form of burrowing behavior, perhaps another evolution of past techniques. In this case, likely for defensive purposes, our troops would be well advised to watch where they step in the future. Hellweave not only grants bonus to a soldier's health, but in return will return damage to any enemy melee attackers and gives a 100% chance to set them on fire. Awesome. Let's do the Arkham Autopsy next. The product of an extensive fusion of both alien biological material and advanced mechanical support systems, the Archon is an unusually ornate design by alien standards. With an air of authority spurred by its distinctive appearance, I can only assume the aliens intended it to be something of a herald to the other forces. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, if I can make contact with a bunch of places before the turn of the month. Priority oh. message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Nope. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope Just that your off. ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Okay, so we've got uh, facility construction. We've also got retaliation strike. Or, no, this. Improve their threat response, reinforcements. Okay, that's fine. And there's a supply drop, which I'm going to ignore for a second. Okay, let's just get past that. We don't contact with the resistance care. Now we can go to Australia. Area, we have the slide. They're going supply to show us how to get into the alien drop available. New course. Where are we going? Oh. Market is open. Well, I didn't mean to go here, but whatever. Uh, do we have anything I can sell that I don't give a damn about? I could actually sell the A Advent data pads. Sure. Because I'm not generally going through them anyway. We're, we're going to need the cash probably more than the intel. Okay, didn't realize. Okay, so what's Spy Ring do? All intel rewards increased by 25%. Cool. Okay, so we're going up to Supply Drop. Avenger plotting new course. So now we actually have some funds, too, which is really nice. I'd like to get these other things along the way. Firefight gives me a soldier. Oh, shoot. I guess we lost the other supply thing. Let's see. So let's continue training her. We can do Stasis or Soul Fire. 
This one's tempting. Ooh, Inspire's good, though. Let's do Inspire. Bonus action immediately to a nearby squad mate. Okay, and can't upgrade that one. Don't care. Let's go back. Let's get our money. Let's get the armor boost and then take out one of the cells. Got it. All right, so we get the supply drop. Ignore. New staff available. Ignore. We're not using them. Okay. Uh, so we want to do... We want to do a couple of things, actually. Uh, so first and foremost, engineering. What can I do for you, Commander? Build items. Uh, armor. We want to build... I mean, Hellweave would be kind of fun, but it's expensive and we don't have the money for it. So warden armor is for everybody. This is our basic power armor frame, providing the durability you'd expect from a giant armored suit. So I'm going to have to customize them so they don't just look weird and fleshy. Also, I got a new mod for uh, new customization options for characters. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we could also get the beam cannon. Very tempting. So, oh, scram gun's just another... Okay. Yeah, let's get the beam cannon. And now I'm four again. Well, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I can't even build the war suit. That's fine. I don't need it that badly. So... Uh, do I have enough intel? Oh, I don't even have enough supplies to go to West Asia. However, we can go to New Chile and blow this up. Sounds about right. Let's get Let's do it. It's about time to start going after the Avatar Project stuff anyway. And hopefully we can make some more money along the way. Okay, so, select soldiers. Uh, so we've got four colonels. I don't generally like bringing them with. Let's bring Cornelius C. Let's edit him. He is... It's It's been a week and a half since I played, so he is also a medic. That's good. Uh, so let's do loadout. What? Oh. Not weapon upgrade. Uh, loadout. Make utility items available. Yes. Okay, so we want the... Med kit. And... Probably just the frag grenade. Don't care too much about anything else. He's got the armor that makes his health really good. And plasma rifle. Gotcha. Let's do customization. Uh, because some of this looks a little weird. And I'd rather have everybody look right. Okay, so we want to do... I like, I like the helmet. The helmet works. Fuck. Damn, these are a lot of... These are a lot of options. So we've got the kind of like weird fleshy stuff. Uh, I've got a full complement of Advent armor uh, customization available too. So, like the meds, the nano suits are kind of neat, but they look a little weird on some of the characters. So s some people will uh, look like, you know, Advent soldiers more or less. I like the face mask too. That shit's cool. Okay, weapon upgrade. What can I do? What do I have? Hair trigger, advanced scope, eight by ten percent. I should probably give that to some people. Uh, that one's not a bad idea. Laser sight, stock. Stock's not a bad move. Uh, expanded magazine. Let's give it an expanded magazine. And there's a lot of these. Air trigger, stock. I could give it a base stock. Let's give it a base stock. Uh, generally I don't bother with these things until the characters hit, uh, max. Okay, so I don't like bringing with too many of my, uh, maxed out guys just because it gets lame. Madison Parker. Put a Teddy. Do we bring everybody? She's in training. But I can still bring her with. Let's keep bringing her with. I want to take a look at her. How are abilities handled? Soldier abilities. Interesting. So these are... they. We just have a bunch of options here. They get trained randomly. So in fact... Oh, wait, no. Rank will still give boost. This character... <laughs> looks really weird. It's kind of like a chicken walkery situation. Okay, let's customize her. Uh, so we're going to do props. Legs. Legs four look really good. Helmet hat though. 
not so much so. Alright, let's see if we've got any new... This is powered. If I do that... Why are the helmets in this game just weird? And kind of dumb? <laughs> I've also got Star Wars helmets, but I'm not going to put them on her. Alright, uh, so in this case... You know what? I'm going to give her just none. It doesn't really match the new swanky, like, form-fitting armor. Uh, so this works. Okay. Uh, so she can do her thing. Uh, actually, one more thing we want to do. Customize weapon color. Might as well have it match the rest of the package. There we go. Okay, so she's good. Hooded Teddy looks right. Uh, Saki Dark Walker needs to be customized. So does Deadshot. Let's figure out the last person on the team. So, actually, let's take a look. We've got one sniper, one grenadier, one ranger, one psyops, one... Okay, so we've actually got kind of a full squad here. I actually don't know what we're up against. So, um, probably gonna bring... I could bring a... Sh I could bring Shrapnel Sponge. Or... Let's bring a second Grenadier. Having multiple Grenadiers is usually a good idea. Okay, so we still have a fair amount of customization that needs to be done. Props. Uh, arms. The problem is they don't generally give you a whole lot of armor that looks right. With, like, the... They don't give you helmets that look right with your... Uh, with your new setup. That'll do. Uh, with the, like, new fancy armor, and it's a shame, because I'd love to have, like, helmets that really fit, but they just look goofy. How's that? Hey, it looks nice and armored. Let's see if I can find a different helmet, though. Uh, we could do Kevlar 1 Baklava. We could do Gas Mask. Stormtrooper, First Order. It'd be kind of funny to put him in First Order. I don't know. Um, why don't we give him... Why don't we do this? I know we've got a couple of characters that have that set up, but it kind of works. Okay. Uh, makes them look dangerous. Let's see. Deadshot. You actually could rock the new, new armor. So let's do Customize. I'm just going to spend, like, half this episode doing customization. To which I almost apologize for. Interesting that there's the fire type. Let's just give him, um... Everything zero. The armor pad pattern's a little strange. We could just take it off. Yeah, we'll take it off. It's about time that it goes away. Okay, and lastly, we've got... We've got three orange people randomly here. We've got her. So, every I like everything about her design, except for her legs. So, what do we got? Eh, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty heavy-looking stuff. Whoa, hold on. Okay, scratch it. We're going... Wait... Legs for. Arms, probably four. That looks really cool. Doesn't quite fit, but it looks really cool. Okay, so that's. Oh, it's all secondary armor color. Well, in that case, let's just make it. make it match. Nice blood red helmet going on there. Yeah, this works. A little weird, but. It works. Okay, and... Oh, right. Weapon color. Should probably change that, too, to match. Okay. And personal combat sim. So what do we got? Uh, severe conditioning, extra HP, mobility, or will. You know what? I'll give her the extra will. Uh, just because currently she's shaken, and... I don't know. 
Ah, uh, let's see. So who else? Who else needs customization? Nobody does. I like it how I've only put. Uh, oh no, I put the sniper in the new armor, but I've only put women in the like new form-fitting armor. I'm. You know what? I don't. I don't have excuses here. All right. Uh, let's see. Make utility items available. Wait, did that? Not gonna. Okay. Good. Um. Make armor available. We might as well do that. Let's take a look at Hooded Teddy. Here's the question. Loadout. What's better, Warden Armor or Exo Armor? Strangely enough... Oh, so at the cost of 1 HP, we get the Rocket Launcher. And we probably don't have enough... Yeah... We'll, get, we'll give him this for the time being. I'll do that with this guy, too. They'll have a fair amount of HP. This does mean we need to get the war suit, though. Uh, which kind of sucks. But whatever. At, the, at least this way we get tons of explosives. Okay. So you... Get the... Where's the acid grenade? There's the acid grenade. I keep doing make utility items available, and it keeps sort of working? Sort of not working. I need more utility items. Probably more med kits. Maybe not? I don't know. Uh, let's see. So what else can you have? I might as well give him the skull jack. I don't think that really helps anybody. Uh, max one grenade per soldier. Yeah, we really need more. M more experimental ammo, honestly. Um... But we don't have enough money for anything. Okay, so in that case, we'll give you. Do you want the flashbang? No. You know what? I'll give Hooded Teddy the flashbang, just because just because he'll be up close and personal for everybody. Okay, this has taken way too long to get in the mission. Let's go.